Welcome to my first video of my Solana meme coin video guide series. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how you should be setting up your computer, as well as some different specs and tools that you need in order to start trading in the Solana meme coin space at the highest level. And before diving into this video, make sure to check out our Discord in the descriptions, Jelly Cubes. It's actually completely free to join and talk to other people within our community about these different Solana meme coins. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Now, I know people that are watching this are going to be all around the world and have different amounts of money in order to actually get into this. But one of the biggest things that you guys have to realize is that Solana meme coins are extremely PVP. You are versing other people and the more tools and the more resources and the more knowledge you have, the higher the competitive advantage and the more likely you are to make money. So just realize it's extremely competitive and you need to do everything you can to put yourself in the position to actually win if you're serious about this. And that is not only time time requirements, which you should be doing this at least four hours a day, in my opinion, to really be in tune with the market, but at the same time, capital requirements of having the right tools. So when it comes to the actual hardware of your computer, I definitely recommend having a minimum of 32 gigs of RAM, ideally 64 gigs, having a fast internet speed, ideally over 100 when it comes to download and when it comes to upload, as well as having at least one terabyte of SSD. And this is going to be very beneficial beneficial for how fast things actually load on these different sites and applications that we're going to be using. Once again, if you can't afford that, it's understandable. Just realize that this will give you a slight competitive advantage. One of the other things I really recommend is not actually using a laptop. I recommend having a computer with either dual monitors or a large ultra wide monitor. And I'm going to show you on my laptop today exactly why you're going to want a bigger monitor setup. As a last hardware note here, definitely have a mouse where you can click back and forth between pages. If you have to move your mouse all the way to the top left and hit the back button, that is going to kill a ton of time. Now that we're past the hardware stuff, I highly recommend using the Google Chrome browser. Do not try doing this on Brave. It actually slows you down because they try blocking all these ads. So make sure you're using a Chrome browser. I also highly recommend downloading this Chrome extension called Vivaldi, if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll have all these links in the description. And what this enables is it enables you to actually shrink how much space is being used on a Discord server. And this is very important because you're going to want to be in multiple alpha groups as well as looking at multiple chats or monitors at the same time in order for you to get as much information as quickly as possible. And this is going to enable you to have significantly more space for your actual monitor. Now that you have that Chrome extension set up, the next thing here is the actual trading platforms you need to trade at the highest level. There are three main platforms platforms that people use right now. There's Bullex, Photon, and GMGN. I personally like Bullex the most, and throughout this video learning series, I'll show you some of the different filters as well as strategies that you can have on Bullex to give you a competitive advantage. What's really nice about these different trading platforms is you get so much more data, as well as having different automated and specialized strategies to help you in your trading journey. And if you're simply buying on something like Deck Screener, you're not going to be able to have as much information as other people. I don't really use Photon too much, but I do use GMGN mostly to check the different wallets that are trading as well as their performances. You can actually go on here and you can automatically copy the trades of different people that are trading in the space, such as different smart money, different fresh wallets, different KOLs and influencers, that sort of stuff. So this tool is really great for being able to track wallet transactions from other people trading in the space. And one of the things I really like about it as well is you can actually go to a certain token and click on the snipers button and you'll be able to see the first 70 buyers for every single token and whether or not they sold all their tokens or actually bought more or just holding a little bit. So this is a really nice feature that isn't on Bullex that I use a lot for GMGN and I'll have both of these links in the description of this YouTube video for you to get signed up. Outside of the different trading platforms, you also have to be aware of different bots and monitors that can help you keep track of the space. So one of these different monitors is actually called Raybot, and I'll have the link in the description once again, and you can actually pay for this sort of Telegram bot as well as this web app, and you can track as many different wallets as you want. And when you're doing this, it'll actually send you a notification on Telegram whenever one of those wallets made any sort of transaction. So this is really cool to use and helpful. 
different discords out there that have monitors that you can use already, as well as different bots to give you more information. For example, if you join our free discord jelly cubes in the description, you can actually see some of our different channels, such as our wallet tracker, where you can track all of these different transactions from whales that we are tracking from our end. So we have about 154 wallets that we're tracking, and whenever they make different transactions, you'll automatically get notifications within this channel, which is super helpful. Because all of a sudden, if you see a major influencer, such as Frank from D Gods, for example, buying a meme coin, you can see that on here, and that might give you more confidence to actually buy their token. Now be aware, there's a lot of people copy trading these major influencers, which are automatically buying whatever they're buying, and you have to be careful because this can lead to massive pumps and massive dumps very quickly. There's also different bots that can give you additional information, such as the Mugetsu bot, and we have this available for everyone in our Discord completely for free, and you'll be able to do different commands such as slash Twitter reuse, as well as the username of that Twitter, and you'll be able to see if a specific account had been reused multiple times. And if it has been reused multiple times, you can expect that it was most likely a scam meme coin, and it's most likely just going to dump. On top of joining our Discord, I'd recommend checking out Potion. This is from a fellow YouTuber called Orangey, and they have a lot of people scanning for meme coins within their Discord. Now, they actually have a free crypto Twitter tracker where every single time a post is made from a major influencer on a Twitter account, it is automatically going to ping in here. So even if you don't pay their monthly subscription or weekly subscription to be part of the Potion Discord, you'll at least be able to go in here and see this monitor. And I feel like this is pretty useful. And if a lot of people join our Discord and want this, we can always integrate it ourselves as well. But I'll also have the invite link to their Discord in the description. Another example of a bot that is very helpful that is going to be in our Discord as well as every single single alpha groups discord out there is the Rick bot. All you have to do is post a contract address, which is with every single meme coin. And it's going to give you some data about that specific token, as well as have all the links for that token as well. At this point, you know, the computer hardware that you need, as well as the different platforms and apps and different monitors and bots that can help you. The next thing here is actually how you set up your discord. Now, this is one of the reasons why you needed to download that Chrome extension early on. It helps remove all this excess information in your different Discord profiles. So for example, I can open up nine tabs of Discord, I can have this different Chrome extension, and now I can hit hide servers and I'll just be able to see the specific monitors. So what I'd recommend, and I wish I could show you guys, but I'm on my laptop right now instead of my desktop, is if you have an ultra wide monitor or dual monitors, you're going to wanna have some of these different pages up. So for example, you can have a wallet tracker page set up. You can then have this free crypto tracker popped up over from the Potion Discord, where now all of a sudden you can see all the different news coming into the feed. And then what you can have is you can have Bullex or your preferred trading platform, where now all of a sudden you can pay attention to all the different new creations that are coming out in meme coins, and you can easily buy and sell these different tokens coming out. Now, if I had some more space here. I would probably have another four or five different alpha groups all with their different chats and I'd pay attention to what they're screening and what they're buying. And if I notice that a lot of these groups are talking about the same thing, or if I notice one of the groups posted a ticker that I think has potential, that allows me to have a huge screening of all of the different meme coins that are coming out. And once you have all of this set up, you're pretty much ready to go. The only other thing that I'd really recommend here, just as a pro tip, is when you're on Discord, it can take time to actually click these buttons and then confirm it. So what I would do is I would actually just drag and open to this main page so then that way you can actually process what these actual trades are another pro tip like I said is when you're clicking on these different tokens ideally you have a mouse that has the buttons where you can click back and forth so as soon as I click this token I can now click the button on my mouse and automatically go back rather than moving my mouse pad all the way up and hitting the reverse button now some of these things might seem very small right now but in reality guys this is such a fast-paced industry that every second you can save can be another second that you're looking at a different token. As far as another tip here, and usually in these alpha chats, people will be using the different bots such as Mugetsu that can track whether or not a token is actually bundled, or I'll be able to check if a Twitter is reused. Usually these
these different commands are happening in these alpha chats, but it might also be a good idea for you to be on some sort of commands channel on one of these groups if it's not happening on the alpha chats, so you can be ready to type in these different commands if you wanna get more information about a specific token. That pretty much goes over everything you need to know about how to actually set up for your desktop. In the next videos of this series, I'm gonna be covering a lot of different aspects, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure to check out those videos. It'll be on my Solana playlist. And once again, our Discord is literally free to join, so you have to be insane in my opinion, not to at least be part of our group and see the different tickers that are coming in our channel, as well as meet other people from this community, because you never know if one of these tickers are going to go on a massive run. And literally the difference between you not being in our group or these different groups is the reason why you didn't get into that play. So don't try doing this all by yourself. There are people that are in 10, 15, 20 different groups, and these are the people that are going to have a competitive edge against you if you're just trying to do this by yourself. But yeah, that wraps up this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.